Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jake and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to make beautiful gradient headlines directly in WordPress using one of my favorite tools, Cadence Blocks. Gradient headlines have definitely been getting a lot more popular again recently. And so I'm gonna teach you how you can quickly put gradient headlines in your WordPress site using first templates and then I'm gonna teach you how to do it yourself. And then I'm gonna show you a cool little trick that is gonna make your gradient headlines look a lot more vibrant, which will make them look better than other websites out there. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna teach you how to build a gradient headline like the one right here, and you're gonna be able to use the brand colors for your website or whatever colors that you decide that you wanna use that look good with the global color palette for your site. And I'm actually gonna teach you first how to build gradient headlines using templates in fact, this entire hero section here was built using a template with a gradient headline in here. And we have gone and built a number of templates in hero sections through this product called Start Blogging Blocks. And so you can go to startbloggingblocks.com and you can scroll down here and you can enter in your name and your email and this will get you your free license which will give you access to all of our free templates. And then we do have a number of pro templates available to you. But I just wanted to show you first these templates using the gradient headline because they're gonna save you so much more time in the end and have all the hero sections and things built for you. So let's show you that first. So since I'm gonna show you how to build gradient headlines using cadence blocks, the only thing that you're going to need on your website is the free version of Cadence Blocks, which you can see that I have downloaded here. But if you don't have it on your website yet, you can just go to add new within plugins here, and then you can type in Cadence Blocks, and you can see that it's this one right here. It's Gutenberg Blocks by Cadence Blocks. So make sure that you install and activate that on your website. So here I am on a brand new page. Let's go in and create a hero section using one of the Start Blogging Blocks templates and show you how easy it is to create a gradient headline. So I'm gonna go up to the Cadence Design Library button here. And you can see that we're already connected to the Start Blogging Blocks library, which are all of the templates that we've built for Cadence Blocks. And I'm gonna go down to the hero section here and you can see that we have a ton of hero sections that we have already pre-built for you. And so I'm gonna actually use this hero section template right here, which is the one that I just showed you on the Start Blogging Blocks website. And you can see once you click that, it instantly imports onto your page with only one click, and it's already configured to be using your brand colors. But if we wanna change these gradient colors, you can see it says to change your gradient colors, go to the section level that's holding this area and open the custom CSS section and then change the values in the linear gradient line. So I'm gonna click in here and I'm gonna open up the list view here and I'm gonna go one level up to the section here which is containing this whole area here. And then I'm using the brand new Cadence Blocks 3.0 and I'm gonna go over to the advanced tab here and I'm gonna open up the custom CSS section down here. And with Cadence Blocks 3.0, they actually added this nice little button here that says edit and modal. So I'm gonna click that and you can see that it brings up a nice modal that has all of the custom CSS already written in there. And you can see that it's using your global color palette colors. So the first one and the second one automatically in here for your gradient headline, but you can obviously change this to whatever you want. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna tweak this line quick to use three different brand colors for my website, but then I'm gonna show you a CSS generator tool that builds these linear gradients for you automatically that are very vibrant and beautiful. And so we'll get into that really shortly here. So you can see that I've tweaked this to have three different colors. So I use three different hex values for my brand colors. I have this one starting at 0%, I have this one going at 50%, and this one coming in at 100%, and this is all using just a 45 degree angle. And so if I close out of here, you can see that my gradient headline has now changed to use that first color in the beginning, that second color at 50%, and the third color at the very end of the gradient headline. But one problem with using linear gradients that use just regular hex values or the RGB values is that many times when these colors go to merge, they get grayed out. And that's just the nature of using that color mode. And so you can see that in the middle here when I'm using that golden color, and at the end when I'm using that turquoise color, when it tries to blend those, you can see right around this area, it's very grayscale and kind of grayed out, and it's not very vibrant. And if I go back to the Start Blogging Block site, you can see that that golden color in the middle and then the turquoise color at the end 
when these two merge, you can see that it's a green, which is what you would expect those two colors to create when they merge. And that's because I'm using a really cool CSS generator tool that allows these colors to merge and be a lot more vibrant. So let's show you that quick. So here I am on a CSS gradient generator tool. It's by a front end guy named Josh. And this is one of the best CSS gradient generators that I have found because it uses a number of different color modes. And he has a whole article written about this, but these color modes allow the colors to be a lot more vibrant when they merge together. And so I'm gonna re-plug in my brand colors here and show you what I mean. So I plugged in my three brand colors here and I love using this HCL color mode because it allows the colors to be so much more vibrant. And so you can see here, when this golden goes into that turquoise color, you can see that the greens really show. And as that reddish color goes into the golden, it's kind of orange. But if I compare this to the regular RGB color mode, so if I click this here, you can see how much more grayed out it is. And it just does not look good. It's very, very bland. It's very grayscale. And you can see as these two colors merge here, it just does not look good. And so if I switch between the HCL mode here, which is way more vibrant, and the regular RGB mode, you can see the difference there. And I'm not changing anything except that color mode. So I'm gonna go back to the HCL mode here. And then another thing with my gradient headline is I really want that reddish color, which is the main accent color for my website. And I really want that turquoise color to show in the beginning and the end more and be a little more prominent. And so I'm gonna use this easing curve here. So you can see I'm on just the regular linear right now. But if I choose ease here, you can see how that changes and you can see that that red shows a lot more in the beginning and that turquoise shows a lot more at the end and then it all kind of blends together in the middle here. So here's regular linear and then if I choose ease, that's what that looks like. I'm gonna keep the angle at 45 degrees because I like that and then if you scroll down here, you can see that it has the CSS that you need to copy right here in a nice box. And you can see that all these colors are using the HSL color mode and that stands for hue, saturation, and lightness. And that's a newer, a little more human friendly color mode that you can use with CSS rather than the older RGB mode. And it's doing all of the calculations and things to perfectly blend those colors together here. So all I'm gonna do is click the button that says copy CSS here. And then I'm gonna go back to our template here and I'm gonna paste this line in. So here I am back on the template. You can still see that it's using the RGB mode, which was a lot more grayscale. And I'm gonna click edit in modal again here. And now that I have that CSS copied from the CSS gradient generator, all I have to do is just replace the second line here. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. And so I have that pasted in here. You can see it has the background image with the linear gradient. It's still at 45 degrees and then it has all of our HSL color modes and all the calculations figured out. So I'm gonna close out of this modal here and let's see how that looks. So now you can see it's using all three of my brand colors but the colors are way more vibrant. So let's preview this and see how this looks. So here it is on the front end. You can see that the gradient background is here. It looks really, really good. All the colors are popping and that just looks so much better than it did before with their old RGB values. So that's how simple it is to create a gradient headline using all of our hero section templates here. And as I said, we have a ton of them, no matter what your use case is, if you want templates that have text on the left with an image on the right or the other way around, you can do all that. And with Cadence Blocks 3.0, you're able to sw swap sections easily and it's just so much more powerful and it's gonna save you tons and tons of time when you go to build your landing pages and blog posts. So if you don't wanna use templates to create your gradient headline, I'm gonna teach you how you can use an, an advanced text block from Cadence to create your own gradient headline line. So let's quickly build out a hero section similar to what we had before. So I'm going to do a slash and type row and add a cadence row layout here. I'm going to just choose a single column here and I'm going to click in here and I actually want to limit how wide this section is. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to enter in a custom content max width. I'm going to make this 850 pixels here. So you can see that that condenses the inner content here to be 850 pixels. And then let's add some top and bottom padding to this roll layout. So I'm going to go to the roll layout here. I'm going to go over to advanced and then I'm going to use the new CSS variables from Cadence Blocks 3.0 to set my padding. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to bump this up to 3XL for the top and I'm gonna bump this up to 3XL for the bottom. So you can see that it visualizes that on the left. You can see I have 3X on the top, 3X on the bottom. And then I'm gonna add a background color here. So I'm gonna stay at the row layout here. I'm gonna go over to style 
and I'm gonna open up the background color and I'm gonna choose the third option here. So that adds a nice dark background. And then I'm gonna click on this plus here and I'm gonna add an advanced text block. And I'm gonna come over here and change the color to white so that we can see it. And I'm gonna come up to the align here and I'm gonna align the text center so that we have it in the center. And then I'm gonna type out our headline here. So now that I have that typed out, I'm gonna use the new font size variables here from Cadence. And I'm gonna choose extra large for the font size. I'm gonna set the line height to 1.2, which is just going to condense that vertical space a little more. And then let's open up the advanced topography settings here. And I'm gonna take the font weight and I'm gonna choose extra bold here, which is gonna make that text even more bold. So then in order to make this gradient background text have a gradient background and look different from the rest of the headline, we need to highlight the words that you want and then you're gonna come up to this arrow here and you're gonna choose the first highlight here. And what that does is in the style settings here, you can see that there's highlight settings. And now anything that you do within here is going to change how this highlighted section looks. So if I can't come in here and I change the color to the first color of my global color palette, you can see that the rest of the headline is white, but then the gradient background section that was highlighted now is taking on my first accent color. But Cadence Blocks is very powerful because it allows you to write custom CSS at the row layout or the section level. So you can go in and you can select certain elements within your section and you can tweak them to look however you want with CSS. So I'm gonna go one level up to the section here. So down here in the breadcrumb, you can see I'm at the advanced text level. I'm gonna go up to the section here and then I'm gonna come over to the advanced tab and you can see that there's a custom CSS section here. So I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna choose that button that says edit in modal. So I'm gonna paste the CSS that I had from our template before right in here. So if you want, you can pause the video and add this custom CSS that I have written here and that will get the gradient headline to look the way that it does with your first accent color and your second accent color. But I'll quickly go over a few of these pieces here to explain what's going on. So the selector piece here is just talking about whatever selector you have this custom CSS has written on. So that's the section level that we're at. And then we dig in and we are targeting the WP block cadence advanced heading class. And so that's the advanced text block that we added within this section. And then past that, we're then targeting the KT highlight class, which is what we did when we highlighted that gradient headline text. And then we chose highlight that class gets added on there. So we're specifically targeting that part of the advanced text block. And then this line here is just set to the first color in my cadence global color palette. And this is actually just used as a fallback so that if the linear gradient doesn't work or isn't supported in the browser, it's gonna just use this line as a fallback and just use your first accent color. And then the second line here is what is giving the linear gradient. So as we have it written with our current cadence template, is it set to a 45 degree angle? We're doing the first color at 0% being set to your first global color palette. And then at 100%, it's being set to your second global color palette. But you can obviously come in here and you can change these values to different hex values or the HSL values that we used before or whatever you would like. And then these last few lines here, I'm not gonna get into it, but these are the magic that is used to allow the gradient headline to work within the editor and on your WordPress site. So back on the CSS gradient generator here, I'm once again just gonna come down here and copy the CSS and I'm gonna go back and paste this into our linear gradient line. So I'm gonna take this line here and just paste the CSS that we had from the linear gradient. And now let's close out of the modal and see how this looks. And so there you have it. You can see that you have the beautiful gradient background on the area that you have highlighted here, like I said, using this option right here. And then the rest of the headline is white, which is what we want. And if I preview this on the front end, you can see that's what it looks like and it looks great. And then you're able to just add a little subheading if you want with a little description text and you can add buttons for call to actions or whatever you'd like to do. So that's all there is to it. I hope that this video helped you create a gradient headline for your WordPress website using Cadence Blocks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.